Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some GTNH. So we are back. I'm going to, I think I have to compress. There you go, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and compress these ender pearls, and then we're going to cut them up here. I'm not sure if I'm going to need more water. Oh, I have a full bucket of water anyway, so that works out. There you go. And we're going to take these and cut them up. I might need more water in here, but we'll see here in a second. Ender pearls. Oh, there you go. We're good. I think that one might be a little quicker, but might take some time anyway. So we'll leave it be for now. Um, so I have a few things already on the list of things to make. Um, it was just, you know, some of the quests related to after you uh, basically create the diamond plates, which was diamond blocks and the saw that we made last time. So we're just going to do this nice diamond chest. So that'll hold lots of stuff now, which is great. Um, I'll probably need it eventually over here, but I'll just put it right here for now. And then let's see what else we have. So that's done. I have one here for the diamond, uh, uh, diamond tank, basically more buckets of water and stuff. I'm just going to put that away because I'm probably not going to use that unless it's, they probably might have a use for it actually later on, possibly. Oh, here you go. Mutagen tank. Cool. Um, okay, that's done. And then we have this guy here. We're going to have to make a diamond sword, unfortunately. So there's the diamond sword. And then we're going to go ahead and make diamond spikes. And so these guys, they, they damage stuff when they hit them, basically, which is really cool. So got that. They might have a use also for them later on, apparently. Not. <laughs> yeah, they don't. But yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm firing these quickly because I just lined them all up, put all the items in my uh, inventory so I had them. So XP shower. So this guy is for downstairs. This is to get XP back from the tank. Um, so if you go like this, you'll get it. Now, of course, you probably want to redstone this and blah, 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 but just showing you how it works. And then, of course, you can go back on here and then put the XP back here. So... Either way, you get how that works. Let's just get rid of my XP. Might as well for fun. Ta-da! There you go. Okay. And that's that one. And then this one we're working on here is the vacuum hopper. So it requires obsidian plates, uh, a bunch of hoppers, and ender pearl plates, which that's what we're doing with the cutting right now. Uh, so it takes 83 seconds, so it might be up now. Um, you'll get nine plates out of that, which is not too shabby at all. Yep, they're done. And there we go. Perfect. And this this is literally like, it is a vacuum hopper, so it vacuums stuff into it. So if you put this down and throw something like this down on the floor, it'll it'll suck it in there. So it'll have its good uses later on for sure, um, which is awesome. Okay, so that, that take care of that stuff. So look at all the quests we just finished in that little short period. Yeah, I thought I should hammer some of these out, and I'm going to continue doing this for them. So I'm going to do a cut, get the materials, and just hammer them, because we've done this already like a million times now, right? So I feel I have a lot of steel. I might as well go for the diamonds for now. Um, I just feel like this will be a good opportunity for me to do that a few times here, and at least, and that way we can get through this stuff a little easier. So let's get rid of you and you, and then we can get rid of you and you. And then we'll just open these so we can see all of them in there. There you go. Fertilizer, some Steve Cart stuff. We got a lot of Steve Cart stuff, which is good because eventually we'll want that stuff anyway. So I guess it's always good to, you know, get more Steve Cart stuff. I'm going to just throw all of you in here for fun for now. Do the organizing later. So uh, let me uh, get some more stuff queued up here and we'll go. I should start doing this coin of the Explorer here um, just so I can start getting the AE2 stone. I need quite a bit of it. But I was just thinking, might as well start this just so I can get these. It's not too bad. It's only 10 coins or one. Well, it is it is literally just one of the compressed ones, which is 10 of them. And if you don't know, you can use the assembly machine. So you set it to 10, put 10 of those in, you get one each. Um, and that's LV too. So we can do that anytime. I have a bunch of these anyways here. Oh, and there's some down here as well. So um, I'm going to work on that slowly over time just because I feel like I really want to get that done, and uh, it's been a while, plus that'll help us uh, finish the Stone Age here. Tricks and Tricks, what is this about? Um, so this is about, okay, so you can just check this and be finished there. There you go. This is just talking about Circuit, Circuit Programmer. There's even a block, but because they have it on the machines now, it's like not 
like anyone really cares as much anymore. Um, oh, got another tank to finish. Replace the gold tank we, uh, or diamond tank we made. Um, so fluid interface is talking about left click. Oh, so yeah, we've been doing the interfaces with the fluid stuff, right? So that's, we, we know how that works. Uh, but it gives you a bit more information and details there about it. Um, covers. So we talked about the covers and obviously I kept hitting myself with the covers. You need to use your uh, crowbar to remove covers if you didn't know that. So that kind of just cleans this up. There's going to be a lot more tips and tricks on here eventually. It's just wanted to clean up some of the ones we had there. So, um, But no, it's back to uh, working on some of these guys. So I'm going to get some of the stuff here and then we'll come back. Okay, so I'm working on this one quest. A little painful because I want to do these transfer pipes. Um, the quest for the transfer... Oh gosh, too much in here. Oh, wrong button, wrong button. There you go. Uh, the quest for the transfer pipes is one eight of them. You can either do it this way, which is a lot of steel and even a lot of red alloy ingot, or you can do it with the assembler. Oh, it's MV. Oh, that's a horrible quest. Never mind. I was going for the assembler, but now I realize it's MV. So you have to do it this way or wait till you're in MV, obviously. Um, so foil, it shouldn't be hard because we've done that in the mending machine. Okay, that's not terrible. Yeah, so I need to do eight of those at least. So I'll work on that and then we'll come back. Okay, I think we got what we need for those guys. Like I said, it's a, a bit of a eh, recipe right now because, I mean, early on it sucks, but we need a wrench here, eh? We need to make a new wrench, I think. We have a wrench in here, but it's ready to blow up. Um, let's do it out of steel, I guess. Okay, here's all the steel I got. Oh, yeah, right here. Mm, a little ridiculous. <laughs> I wanted to show you that because I thought, okay, I have too much steel. Let's get a couple of these, and then that way we don't have to worry about them for a while. There you go. Get rid of the steel again. And then we'll get rid of some of you guys. And then I might as well use up the one I have in here anyways, if I can. Uh, so yeah, we're going to make a bunch of these guys. We're just going to go around and cover these up. Oh, look at that. It was even enough to make them. So there's the eight of them anyways, transfer pipes. And then we can... Get that done. And plus, he gave me more transfer pipes. So if you need them, yay. Uh, okay. And then um, this guy. This is the auto workbench that uses the work table. And then you have this guy. This is the BC stuff. I guess you pipe stuff through here and you put the recipe in there and automatically do it. I guess some people probably do it early game. I see no use for it yet. I bet you I will see a use later on for it, possibly. Not this moment, obviously, but uh, yeah, I could see me wanting to use that later on. Now, if I want to do these transfer nodes, this is where things get a little expensive. Ender pearl screws. Go figure. Um, and then the transfer node here, again, ender pearl screws. You need brass. So they're, they're, they're kind of being annoying with these two transfer ones. And the world interaction one, well, I just want to cry about that one. So Ender Pearl, would this just be Ender Pearl in there? Or no, it has the lace. So you're going to want to cut that. And you're going to get the rod, which is then the lathe again. Okay, so just lathe basically and Ender Pearls. Okay, I'll do those. Okay. I got that. Cool. Okay, so we got our guys there. Look at this. We got, what is this, iron? Are these tiny? Oh, no, that's those ones. Let's get rid of these. I was using the lathe to, hey, that's mine, to uh, make some rods and yeah. Okay, so uh, let's see. So we got this. We need to get some steel fluid pipes. I actually have some of those left. Ooh, it's these ones, so we're not going to have enough, obviously. Okay, so we can make one of these, which is great. And then we got this one. Oh, wait, we're good because we just need this one. We need small, you know what? We have those still, I think. Now look at this. That's, that's good news on us. We can get rid of that one. Okay, so we have, I think, everything but the pipe I probably know. Okay, so we need a brass pipe. I don't even know. I guess we must have some brass somewhere, no? I guess we've never made brass, though. Yeah, we've never made the brass itself, so we have to actually make it. <laughs> um. So let's see here. Alloy smelter. Copper and zinc, eh? Well, it's good we didn't use up all that zinc before. 
Oh wait, we we have brass dust somewhere. I think it doesn't matter. We'll do it this way anyways. Um, and then copper. Is there copper in there? Oh yeah, right here. There, there you go. You can throw this in the alloy smelter then. There you go, awesome. So I'll give that thing yet. And then if I need to make, what's the way to do this anyways? Oh, extruder. Oh, MV though. There's also that MV. Or then of course this one. But that's our just our standard way basically at that point, so. Okay. And then we'll just throw you, oh, wrong side. There you go. That should do us. Okay, perfect. And then, so yeah, we need six of those just to make one of these pipes. But it'll be, oh, two of these pipes, actually, so it's not too bad. You need it for something later on. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. We got everything. Cool. So yeah, fluid transfer and an item transfer, which is awesome. This might give you unlimited. I don't know. I actually will. They what do they say here? This might actually give you unlimited water. So let's get this thing, work table, and then basic fluid. Just so, like, uh, but probably the best thing they can utilize same transfer pipe. Is it maybe you have to have the world interaction for it to work? I don't know. No. Um. So you have this one, obviously. What about this one? Nodes can take up blah, blah, blah. With transfer node attached. Oh. Now tree has a crafting guide placed on the other side, and they can make a valid recipe. Speed it up. You'll need to wait until HV. Okay. Also, you want to place a block on cobblestone uh, that has lava or water in it. It will produce cobblestone. So I guess these don't work for water, because they did back in the day, but I think they might have nerfed it then, because it doesn't seem to work that way now um so that's fine uh so let's get rid of this now this one is actually the hard one because you need a a diamond gear here so this is slightly annoying because that's a lot of diamonds obviously um and then you need a diamond pick which is also a bit painful you can make this version of it but i'm guessing it's still the same yeah it's the same thing basically yeah so you might as well just do the other one um okay do i still have the diamond plates here did i have any extra diamond plates yeah i did so how many diamond you're gonna need them for here too so you need four for this for the gear and then you're gonna need two for that at least yeah and then you're gonna need a bunch of diamonds which i put them somewhere i think it's the bad thing when you forget where you put your diamonds where are they oh here they are and then you're going to need some wood. Oh my goodness, my poor inventory here. Let's just throw this stuff in here temporarily. We don't really need these guys right now. Probably should find a home for these later on, but that's fine for now. I'm just really just dumping things out of here. It's just like screw you and just clearing space. I know I'm doing it wrong. Okay, so I'll just do it like this. So here's one and then two. There you go. And then we need this guy. I don't think we have any diamond rods. So I have to put those in the lathe. And they take... Holy crap. Well, that's going to take a while. Can I make them outside of this? No. So I need how many rods? Four rods. And I'm guessing I don't have diamond gears. So I will throw that in. That that will take a while. And then we'll come back. Oh, here's the AE2. So I'll just rerun that again soon. Okay. By the way, this is a good way to get those small dusts. I kept forgetting that. Um, so they didn't need to grind down any gold dust or whatever because you keep getting these guys from these, but all good either way. Um, okay, so uh, we should be able to make you. Perfect. And then we should be able to make this guy finally. Oh, yeah, we need to make the iron ones. I have them in my inventory, the parts here, so that way that's done. Awesome. And then we can do the world interaction upgrade. Awesome. And that should be it. Oh, they want these baby chests. Why the, what are the baby chests for? Oh, 
Oh, this is weird crafting grid. I've never done it before. I'm not gonna even bother now with it. But I guess that's what the small chests are for, maybe? I don't I don't know, or maybe that's just a joke. Either way, we'll do it. Because it's part of the quest. I wonder if I can convert them back. Apparently not. Oh you have to put them in the compressor. <laughs> It's like, I don't want them. I wonder if they have any use for anything important later on. Maybe for something like that. I'll just compress them, get them over with. Okay. So that gets that. Perfect. Okay. So that finishes that up anyways. That's kind of what I wanted to do. You know, finish those up and get some more space in there. Um, there was one here for cells. I'm actually not even sure why we don't have that done yet and well, where these are. It's actually kind of funny when you think about it. I thought we had a ton of cells over time that were gifted. But maybe they're the other kind. Oh, compressed air in these guys. Can I craft these out? No. You should be able to. It's just compressed air, to be honest. But I guess you have to use the extractor for that. 15 seconds. I don't know if I'll need those for anything. Probably not. But I think I'll just make some new ones then. So you need 10 plates, huh? That shouldn't be too hard. Uh, empty cells. So that's not the one we were looking for. I'll have to just figure out plate bending. Oh, here you go. Oh, you can do them with steel, and you, or oh, no, that's polyethylene. Never mind. Steel plate, you get one, tin. Oh, okay, that's where it is. So, and you need sixteen, right? Yeah. The only thing I didn't pay attention to is what the number code is. So twelve for that. So we just go here. Twelve on this, right? I'm not even not sure now. There you go. Yeah. So we'll make those. Okay, there we go. Excellent. You get some rubber bars with that. That's cool. Okay. Doing pretty good here, actually. So let's take you guys out of here and put you here. Okay, so we got a bunch of that done. Um, there's more here, I guess. You got this stuff, the fence stuff. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, you can make it cheaper in here, it looks like. Uh, LV as well, so that's good. You have this weird hardened wall, so you need stone, sand, clay. Okay. It's not terrible. Let me work on that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put... I think these guys were in the assembler. I don't know if I need to flag them on anything. No, that looks like it's working. So steel ring, and yeah, I'm way cheaper in this recipe. Well, you get five out of this, four out of this, but still way cheaper. Um, and easier. So you got the four of those. And then the hardened clay. Now, you don't... I was going to actually... I was thinking, oh, or not hardened clay, hardened wall. I was going to do like four plus. And I realized, oh, I don't need to do that because you get nine in one go. So you don't have to like make one at a time or whatever. So that's that's it, basically. As far as I know. So that's done. Yeah, there you go. So let's get rid of this. We'll put you guys in here. There you go. I get some extra clay too. I thought I had clay, but I guess I used it all. Might have turned it into bricks or something at one point. You know me, uh, but that's fine. We got it uh, made. Okay, so you got this, this, this thing. Oh yeah, this is for the gun stuff and whatnot. I guess. I don't. I don't have an interest in making this, but I guess if we're doing like the completionist kind of thing, I might as well make it. I mean, we have all these parts, so might as well just get what we need here. Okay, I think I got most things here. So I need to make two of these guys. I need to make three of these guys. Oh, he's about to break. Oh, he finally broke. There we go. And one more of these guys. And then as far as I know, I need to make two of these guys. There you go. There you go. That works. And then we just go ahead and get rid of these. And then I guess we have to make the base for it, I'm guessing. There's a base to it. Oh, yeah, here it is, turret base. So it's two different turret bases. I might actually have these done. No, I guess not. I thought maybe I picked them up or I might have picked them up and threw them out just thinking, oh, this is garbage, right? Uh, but it looks like it gets you started. So iron plates, 
let's get our iron plates in here. So iron plates, and then we have wood and cobblestone, I guess. So wood planks. I feel like I have some in here. There you go, in cobblestone. There you go. That should get us these guys. There you go, perfect. Awesome. Open those bags at the end here. Okay, we got dark one, and then I guess now you get to make two different turrets, I guess, for fun here. So you get to make the potato one and the disposal. I think it's just like garbage, basically. So one's like uses potato spuds, the other one just uses pure garbage. So are you both gonna? Okay, so you need three redstone here at least. One, two, three. And then we're gonna need more iron, which we have. We're gonna need those, which is good. Perfect. And we need more of that cobblestone, which we have. Okay, we should be able to make those then. So here's the one turret. And here's the other turret. I like when they have quests like that, kind of build up to the pieces and then the turret, you know. Because it's just, you get more quests done. It feels good, you know. So I'll go for that. I don't think I need the watering can, but thank you. Oil cell might actually be worthwhile, to be fair. That being said, oil isn't really hard to get, but lazy wise, you'd probably be almost smart to grab the oil, but I didn't grab it. So don't tell anyone. Okay. And then there you go. And then, oh, is this the inventory expander? Okay, inventory expander. So it gives you the ability to run more here. Um, here you go. And then we need two chests. I'm just doing two. It doesn't ask for two, but just sign one. There you go. Yeah, combustion engine. That's actually something I didn't expect. Oh, because you got to power them, probably. There goes that oil idea. I didn't think you had to power these low ones, but you might have to, actually, which is funny. And then, okay, so to build these things, I don't really care about them, but let's just build them for fun here. So you got this guy and this guy here. And then basically you can put the, you know, your, your inventory extension on them. So they just get a little bit more space on them, which is cool. And then basically you have your two different turrets. Oops. Put that on and this on, and then they require power. So you can use the IC2 cables, uh, or the, sorry, the GT cables probably directly to it. So you're probably fine there, um, I'm guessing. But, you know, in the field, I guess the combustion engine wouldn't be bad or another one. And then you fill it up with ammo, basically. So... Uh, the potato one, as far as I remember, literally uses just potatoes. You can set them to trusted players or target multi-single. Uh, you can add trusted players, things like that. It's pretty cool, actually, all the things you can do to it. So um, there's some powerful ones later on. I think the early game ones are more of a joke, but I mean, there might be a use for it, to be fair. I just never bothered with it, to be fair. That's, that's the truth. I just, meh. It's just low level, never care, just left it alone, right? So... But yeah, it might it might be useful. So that that took care of a lot of random little quests so far. I'm like really happy of just getting through those. There's some more important ones like I want to get into this probably next episode, but I don't want to quite do it yet because I've been just doing like these random lobby ones. And I kind of wanna like these random like side ones that you don't really need. And I kinda wanna keep doing that. Uh just for the fact that um well, it's just been working right but like i think we're getting a point where we've gotten most of those oddly enough like you know you can make an electric furnace i guess here let's let's clear out our list here here anyways there you go so electric furnace i guess we can make some of these machines we should probably start making uh brewing i guess you can do um chemical bath like a lot of these people probably would suggest not making uh, or you don't need them. There's different turbines here you can make for different fuels you can do, obviously. So that's kind of cool. Uh, oh, yeah, there's this lamp thing. Oh, what is this? Need a map on fuel choices? We uh, don't have that, but we have suggestions. You can use steam up to IV, but beyond MV, it gets pretty painful. In LV, you can start refining oil for either light fuel for combustion generators or refinery gas for gas turbine. Once you hit MV, you can switch from steam to renewable benzene, benzene gas from your logs or other renewable alternatives or fish oil, seed oil based on biodiesel combustion. So it will be sourced from Pam's uh, peanuts. 
uh, IC2 rape crops or forestry tree nuts. At MV, you can also upgrade your light fuel with heavy fuel to get diesel. When you have reached HV, turn diesel or biodiesel into Kentane, I guess, Centane. Uh, boost the diesel and EV you can make HOG, but it's complex. You'll need a, to rejigger your whole oil distillation setup since it uses different fluids. Yeah, EV introduces large gas turbines, blah, blah, blah. You can also make nukes or wind or water kinetics. For low power operations or dedicated players willing to set up auto crafting, you can begin using solar panels and MV. Oh, damn. Don't get me wrong. I think solar panels are cool, but I don't think they're... I mean, as far as I know, solar panels are just not worth it at low levels. Um, Maybe. Maybe we need to relook at that. I mean, with the right auto crafting, things like that, maybe it's not terrible. But I mean, if it uses circuits and more painful things like that, it's like cutting teeth, right? So um, I, I don't know if it would be worth it, so... But let's look at what some of the stuff we have here anyway. So let's get rid of you and you. More likely you and you and you. Okay, so let's go back to our hammer is about to break. So let's get another one here for readiness. Okay, so let's go to circuits again. So we got circuits and then you got, you know, copper. We're going to need for this one at least. Let's we'll get some tin in case. Let's get all this stuff here we need usually. Get started on this. Okay, so if we look at the furnace, it wants a bunch of these guys here. So these are just the twos, right? So one, two, three, four. There you go. And that's probably it. Yeah, so there's the electric furnace. And then you have the brew stand. Oh, can't do the brew stand because you don't actually have a brew stand. You either have to find one, like I think maybe Twilight or maybe the Nether, or you have to magically craft it to, with Thomcraft, I believe, which is not too bad. It's not hard to do that or anything. It's just we're just not there yet, right? So um, might as well grab our glass here. So we're just not quite there. This is the chemical bath. Useful, don't know if it's actually useful for me at this point, but it is useful eventually. The alloy smelter, I mean, this we use non-stop, so um, it's definitely been a, a youthful... You, did I say youth, youthful? Useful? It's a useful, not youthful block. Maybe it's got some youth into it. Um, I did make a bunch of steel plates. Do we have any steel plates in here? Almost none. You probably notice when we've been over here. There's a crap ton of steel plates over here. I just realized like at one point, I'm gonna need more steel plates. And I threw them all in there when I was on holidays. It's just like, yeah, okay. I, I literally spent most, like I would say 99%, maybe 98% basically just AFK. Uh, and then uh, when I needed something, I'd throw it in or whatever if I thought of it. But most of it was just, I would say like 95% of it was literally just filling these up breaking these every four times, you know, to get rid of the creosote and basically gathering some of the farm stuff. I, you know, I did increase the size of some of the containers out there. Um, I, I did put this in there. I think I did that. Look at it. So you get the idea of the sticky resin, how much we have, you know, you get maybe just under a stack every time. So, you know, 9, 18, 27. Yeah. So 30, basically just assume I farmed the, the resin 30 times, which is probably roughly the same with the charcoal and stuff. That's why we have so much steel in here now. So, which is nice. Cause I don't have to worry about it. It just gives me kind of an upper hand. So, um, oh yeah, we did do that. So we needed to make the, these guys next here, which I need the raw iron plates, which that's something you don't think of. Like I could have worked on some of that, but I was so busy. I just didn't get to it to be fair. I think that's really the key here, I need steel plates. We threw those all the way, and then I was like, oh, now I need them. There you go. And we can get eight of them, which is great, but I just, oh, I do still have 10. Perfect, I just didn't want to run out on those guys. Perfect. There you go. And don't forget we have our chest over here. So we can just go and dump this stuff in here. So we have it for the future. It's not like I really need it right now or anything. Uh, gas turbine, basic combustion generator. I don't really need those, to be fair. I just, I think that would be a waste. Oh, no, this thing was a nightmare for a call. Oh, yeah, no, that ain't happening today. 
I remember this. This is actually how to make an item filter, but the item filter is just a horrible recipe for it. I mean, it's not horrible, I guess. It just seems horrible in my mind. I mean, once you do all the stuff, it's not so bad. But it's using the zinc, too, so we're not really doing a lot of zinc yet. So I'm just going to ignore that right now, I think. But let's go grab these guys anyways, because we got some quests done here from that. So really, don't even give me a bag, you jerk. You gave me one, so you're nicer. There we go. Okay. So that's getting us more things done here, which is great. Um, brewing, sifting. Yeah, we're not going to bother with those. You got your basic forming press. I guess we want that eventually. Floodgate, I don't really care about you. Is this the basic forge hammer? Yeah. Okay. No, we already clicked you. Basic extractor. These are electric versions. I mean, I guess I can make them. I'm just thinking, what am I going to use them for, right? Most of these, I have the seam set up, and honestly, I think the seam setup is better, but eventually when I want to automate things and stuff like that, more likely won't do the steam one. I'll do LV, so they'll be handy then, if you know what I mean. Right now, they might be a little use, useless, but the rock breaker is actually really useful over time. Ugh, I take that back. I say it's useful, and then you get something horrifying like this, so... Um, double steel and then diamond dust. I guess we can make that. So we need a diamond, first of all. I think I had like one or two diamonds left, but where did I? Oh, here they are. I have actually more because I think Quest gave them to us. And then diamond dust. Here you go. One, two, three, four, I think it was. No, we're not getting the really expensive one. And then diamond plates, double diamond plate, or sorry, steel plates. Sorry, there you go. I got wrong, huh? There you go. I don't know if we made one of those yet. Might have actually done it already, to be fair. But yeah, this is the rock breaker. This is actually a fancy one because um, this is how you can automate uh, like smooth stone and things like that early on, which is nice. Um, might even tell you here. Oh yeah, cobblestone. Water and lava on two sides. Stone, water and on one side and lava on top. Obsidian either on or above, blah, blah, blah. You need power, of course. It's, it's kind of cool. I'm not gonna use it right now because it's not like I need one of them right this minute, but it does have its, it, it definitely is handy. So here's a basic compressor. So that, that was nice. We had all the stuff in there. Uh, basic extractor, need the two glass again here. We'll just throw them in there because we keep using glass, it seems. There's a basic extractor. And then you have basic forming press. There you go. My poor, my poor inventory, all these machines. <laughs> like I said, I'm not setting most of these up right now anyways for the future, obviously, but... Uh, gets us started anyways okay so um yeah let's do this claim that claim that claim that and then this one here choice award oh, okay so i'm gonna go for obsidian oh crap you gave me the lava bucket it's like what's going on here yeah Count. So that's not terrible. We're doing pretty good there. Um, anything exciting down here? We did most of these before. Overflow valve. Why didn't we do this one? Oh, it's gross. Yeah, it requires a special. It's a mixed material, but yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm being a little like like I don't mind doing a bunch of stuff sometimes, but you know what? I have some laziness too, right? So. You can get out your current tier craft sign. Well, you can't get through mixer yet, but there is a crafting recipe. Oh, I see. It's pretty expensive, actually. Oh yeah, we want this one. Much better than this. Time to craft a stack. Later on, you can use new material. Oh yeah. So this is actually. Yeah, this is actually a nice one. Can I mix you at LV? Oh, I can mix you. Chrome and stuff. I don't know if I really have a source of. I mean. I don't think it's hard to get chrome, but that's, I feel like that's another, you know, 
We'll just worry about that another time kind of thing. Oil sands. I know I have some oil, but not, you know, not in the oil sand level here like that we need. I meant oil sands, but sure. Yeah, that's all the oil sands I have. <laughs> so eventually I should get this because oil sands is another way to get heavy oil. Maybe you got lucky and found some. In a mountainous boom. Oh, okay. Because we have around, some around our base, but it's not mountainous. And it was basically like some on the surface, very little. So that's probably why I haven't really mined a bunch of it yet. So, so you got to find more of a mountainous biome if you're going to use that. So. Oh, yeah, you have these guys. This is the battery stuff. I'm going to leave that anyways. Um, but, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. That was, uh, that was a really good episode for just all the machines I've made and things like that. I'm just, I'm pretty happy. You got chemical stuff. But I feel like, you know, you, you're going to use that for other things anyway. So I feel like that should be its own, you know, mission. You got these fancy ones here I got to still do. I just don't want to look at them right now. <laughs> It's like, I'm going to be lazy when it comes to some of this. It's like, nope, we're not looking at that. Okay, so we're going to throw you guys all in here. So my circuits are getting really low, 25 so far. So we, we need to worry about those in the in the somewhat future, obviously. I don't want to drop to zero and then have to you know sit there doing it by hand. But I'm probably at that time where we can make them cheaper too in some ways. But eh. once again, I like being lazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and open all 15 bags, shall we? There you go. There's all 15. So that was fun. Uh, so this is everything you get and 15 of those. I guess they were all LV bags, right? So um, got some tools here. This is probably the best rewards. These electric pumps here are actually not so bad. Those are the empty cells we crafted for the quest. Jerks. Uh, some more Steve cart stuff here. Fans. We have some in there already, I guess. Yeah. Um, muffler upgrade. I guess we have that already in there. I've just been putting the food in there usually. Another apiary, which is nice, because the only way I've been getting those... Oh, no, we can craft them, I think, but... I mean, to be fair, I, I like finding them in villages and stuff, but at the same time, I'm not going to raid the entire universe for them, too, so... But I think I've gotten some from uh, a bag before, too, so... It's just a nice little treat, I guess. A book and quill, I'll just throw them in there plate down here wood stuff up here um gunpowder and all this crap should be down here anyways there you go bone meal where did we put our bone meal oh yeah because the dye yeah okay i think torches we usually i just throw them in here there you go and then arrows i think are in here there you go steel pipe thing can go in here and obviously apiary could go out here with the bee stuff but that worked out. I mean, that that was awesome. So, do we have any apiaries left? Oh yeah. But I do need to do some tidying and stuff uh, with some of my items in there, and that chest start unloading it, put the food upstairs, things like that. But uh, yeah, when we get back, I think we're gonna look at maybe doing some of the battery stuff because I remember I wanted to do that for a reason. I think it was a magnet. It'll make things a little easier when uh, mining and things like that. Uh, even doing the farms, you know, gathering the stuff from the IC2 crops, they kind of go everywhere. You're, you don't really pick them up right away. Kind of a nuisance. So, um, you know, heading towards that way and being able to get a magnet over time, I think would be awesome. So I think that's kind of our, our route that we're heading anyways. Uh, but uh, either way, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Yeah, I think we have all the claims at this point. Uh, forestry. What do we have in here? Oh, oh! So you could do this for the combustion engine, but they gave it to us for us, so that was nice. There you go. So oil cells. There you go. So we got some oil cells for the future, anyways. There you go. And I'm gonna also. I'm not gonna just jump to like blast furnace right away as well. I like to. This is annoying, by the way, because you can't. You know, to get the coin, you have to relog. It's a bug right now. You won't see this by the time you see this video. That bug will be fixed, but. Um, yeah, anyways, but I like to go through some of this stuff too. Like, you know, I like to do maybe some of the multi-farm stuff and, uh, whatnot. Like I just, you know, we've been jumping ahead in a lot of areas, but I like to also backtrack a bit, uh, on some other stuff. Like I finished this right here 
So this is something I should do off camera. I should take all of them down, make one set, uh, one more of coke oven brick, just so this is done. Um, because that way this is, it's done. It's a cheap, you know, you're not getting anything special out of it. But, you know, that's just one thing I can work on off camera. But I like to work on some other stuff on this list rather than just, you know, keep coasting on LV. But I'm really happy what we did with LV today. We got a whole lot of stuff done, so anyways my friends thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment like and we'll see wonderful people next time have a wonderful day goodbye